Hello, my marketing-minded entrepreneurs. I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about um, how you, one way you can market your book. There are lots of ways, but I'll just talk about one right now, and um, which is using speaking engagements to sell your books. So I'll just give you a little example. And it doesn't have to be big. It doesn't even have to be paid for this to work. So I'll share a little story of what I did as an example. So last year, I guess it was, uh, maybe in the fall, I had been invited to speak to a small group of women just locally at, uh, at an evening event. And I was one of three or four speakers that evening I got, maybe 15 minutes uh, to 20 minutes to talk. And that was it. And it, the topic was wide open. I could speak about anything. And so I, before agreeing, I thought about how I could bring anything of value. What, what would help these women? What would they find useful? And how would that connect with what I was doing? So it happened that that summer I had released um, my first meditations book, Garden Meditations, which is essentially a collection of uh, nature themed devotionals, right? Just personal stories right out of my life and, and those moments where I'm connecting with God. And I thought, well, this is a group of women who are collecting kind of, it's kind of centered on faith there sometimes. So I could definitely speak out of that. So I wrote out what I was going to say ahead of time, a very important tip when you're speaking, by the way. Um, and then I brought my selection of books and, and I spoke and, and something interesting happened that I didn't expect. First of all, before I ever got there, I had to decide to, to not despise small beginnings. There might be five people there, maybe 10, it wouldn't be more than 10. And I had to basically leave my ego at the door. Five people, 10 people, even if there are only two people there, I decided that I was going to go in thankful. I was going to go in humble. And I was going to go in honoring God, no matter how this turned out or who it was for. I was doing it not for a big crowd or, or even sales, but for him and to encourage his people. So once I got my head and my attitude around that, then I planned out what I was going to say. And I was surprised by what did happen. Um, first of all, it was a good, uh, a good practice in, in humbling myself before such uh, events. Secondly, I went in planning to share, uh, or hoping that this would turn into sales. I wasn't expecting that it would. I thought maybe I would sell one book if I was lucky. And that was kind of it and that would be okay well so that evening i also brought just in case i brought some other books that i had written in the past um i consider this book my first book because the other books that i have written and published they're kind of one-offs and don't really have very big market this was a you know a mom quote book why is there a hippo in the toilet it's just a bunch of um funny things that moms say and I'll tell you, when people read it, they laugh. It's great, but not really great with sales. Um, then my very, very first one was a collection of poems that ended up being a testimonial, really, kind of a before and after Jesus kind of thing, picture of my life. Then there was this book that I wrote with my eight-year-old who was asking me to, please, can we write a book together? I still my beating heart, of course you can. So we did that together. And then after that, I wrote a book called how I wrote a book with my eight-year-old and, and it just details the process of writing it together and publishing it. So here's what surprised me that night when I spoke was that of all of these, I sold about maybe, it was something like 10 books or more. There were only 10 women there and not everyone bought a book. Some people bought books for friends and I sold my very first copy of this to someone who had never written a book and doesn't intend to, that I know of, and certainly doesn't intend to write a book with their eight-year-old. I sold it to a grandma, a grandma businesswoman. And here's what happened, is she read that, and then she, um, she came up to me maybe a month later, and she said, Kim, that book changed my business. Really? Okay. Tell me more. How did that happen? And she said, Kim, in the book, I talk about how I had outsourced some things uh, related to publishing. 
and creating the cover in that. And she said, oh my goodness, I went to that site and I found a virtual assistant that I didn't even know I needed. I didn't know where to find it if I didn't know that. And it has seriously, this virtual assistant has changed my business. Thank you so much for that. Well worth it. Worth buying the book and paying the virtual assistant. And I thought that was so interesting that she got that out of, out of an unrelated, in my mind, it was an unrelated book. And it was completely, totally, absolutely unrelated to what I had been speaking about. So that was interesting to me and unexpected. Even more than that, later on, she became a client, a coaching client, and then a social media management client. And so that, speak, that one speaking engagement um, just really, really worked well. I have a couple more speaking engagements coming up, which are, again, more related to writing and faith and how those two go together. So I'm going to be working to tie that into some of my, to my book, books and also uh, to some of the services that I provide. And so my goal is going to be to, first of all, provide real solid value that actually helps the people that I'm speaking to. And secondly, to somehow create a continued connection with the people that I'm talking to. If that means that they buy a book, great. If it means they get on my email list, great. Maybe they want to be part of my Facebook group, the one that we're in now. Super, I hope so. And uh, so anyway, that's kind of the goal I'm going to go in with. So, have you ever done speaking engagements to promote your business or your book? And if so, how did it go? What worked well and what didn't? What would you change for the next time? I'd like to hear about it. So, participate in the comments and let's, let's, uh, let's hear about it. Thanks. Talk to you later. Bye.